to My Bolty UV. I am Jim, and we're going from point A to point B. So climb in. Let's go. Today, we're going to do something that everyone must do to their car eventually, especially if you live in an area where it rains. That's replace the windshield wipers. I live in Florida, and we're headed into what I like to call summer. In Florida, summer means thunderstorms and heavy, heavy rain. Rain so hard that you can't see your hand in front of your face sometimes. And as Bubba would say, when it rains here, it's normally a toad strangler. Anyway, I'll demonstrate the rear wiper replacement, but I'm not actually going to change that thing. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the front wipers. I have replacement wipers. I'm gonna show you how to take them off, put them back on. First, we're gonna do the driver's side wiper. It is GM part number 42724844. I bought one of these a few weeks back. And when I get done replacing the front wiper, I'm gonna put the old wiper in the bag and store it in the rear of my car. Just in case I get out on the road and something happens to the new wiper, I'll have a spare that I can use for a few days until I get a new wiper. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is raise the wiper blade up to the replace position is what I like to call it. If you'll notice right here, let me zoom in on that a little bit. If you'll notice right here, there's a little indentation on the back of the wiper. That's how you get this thing off. You simply press and pull and out the wiper comes. Then you take your replacement wiper, remove it from the bag and simply reverse the steps. Line it up, push the button down. Raise that out a little bit, there we go. And slide it in until it clicks. And you'll notice that button comes right back to where it was. As you'll notice, I'm gonna slide the old wiper back into the bag so I can keep it in the trunk of my car. Now let's move to the other side. Second, the passenger side wiper. It is GM part number 42772945. So here we go. Okay, here we are on the passenger side. I'm gonna raise the passenger side wiper up. And here we go, raising this up. Hopefully you can see the same thing. It has the little indentation on it right here. I'm simply gonna press that in, pull this out. There's the old blade. We'll take the new blade, pull that out just a little bit and slide it back in until it clicks. Until it clicks in place, just like that. And place it back down. Take this same blade and put it back in the bag with the other uh, windshield wiper blade. And I'll store, again, I'll store both of these blades in the rear of my car just to have in, in case of an emergency. And when it comes time to replacing the wipers again, I'll store the ones that are currently on there as the spares and discard these. Okay, we're on the rear wiper now. This is the rear wiper. It's got a cover on it. That is a very intimidating thing. But simply lift up on the back right here and pull it off like so. Let's push it this way. If you'll notice it has a hook right here that hooks around the J hook. So you just have to lift up and push it out to where it will come off. And then the J hook has underneath here, there's a little end in or a little tab right here where my finger's pointing. There's a little tab underneath the J hook. Lift up on it and slide it back and it just pops off like that. Here's your wiper, it's 10 inches long, not 12 inches long, not 11 inches long, it's 10 inches long. Here, let me give you a quick update on that. There you go, 10 inches, 10, not 11, not 12. Now you can go on eBay and you can go on Amazon and buy a complete replacement for this 
which is actually one inch longer, and it gives you a 12 inch blade. I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but when you add one inch to one side, you have to add one inch to the other. So that's 12 inches. You can buy that. It's actually made for a Chevrolet Blazer, but I wouldn't want to do that because right here on my car is the rear camera that is used for the rear view mirror. That's why I don't use my rear windshield wiper very much because I can see out with my rear camera. The washer fluid actually comes out here and washes this camera off if it gets dirty. And that makes the windshield wiper come on. That's the only reason I leave this thing on back here. So in reverse order, since I'm not replacing this, I actually cleaned it up, put some nice armor all protectant on it and made it to where it acts as new as it possibly can. Put it back on, just simply pull that J hook into position, line this up with the hole and push back, pop down, you're done. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Please remember to subscribe, share, comment, and like this video and click the notification bell if you want to know when I upload something new. Remember, treat everyone with kindness, put a smile on your face, help someone today, and pay it forward when someone does the same for you. Thanks again. See you all again real soon or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody. Thank you.